here in Atlanta. Um, before I started my urban life journey, I was super insecure. I hated taking cool body pictures, and if I did, I never posted them. Um, I got tired of living like that, tired of being tired all the time and lazy. Um, I decided to jump on the Urban Life products after contemplating for about three months. That was literally the best decision I made in a long time. I'm currently down 31 pounds of fat and counting. I feel amazing energy through the roof. Um, if you know anybody who's looking to lose weight, gain weight, tone, or earn some extra income, please tell them to hit me up. I would love to help them. All right, so now for our marketing plan. So there are four ways that we make our money in this business. Um, the first way that I'm going to go over is retail. So please excuse my handwriting, but y'all get the point. <laughs> All right. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? Okay. So the first way we make our money is going to be retail. So when you decide to, you decide you want to start your business, you're going to make a $94 investment. With this investment comes a website that you're going to order from at a discount and your customer is going to be able to order from as well. You're also going to get what we call our international business package. With this, you're going to get four, four books that are going to help you learn and grow your business. Um, you're going to get three three-day trial packages, which you can sell for $20 each. You're already making a $60 profit. You're also going to get our buttons that you can wear, use wear talk. This is going to help you grow your business as well. All right, so when you first come into the company, you are going to start off as a distributor. At a distributor level, you are now entitled to a 25% discount slash profit. So say you have a client who orders $100 worth of products, you are now going to be able to get 25% of that, which is $25. So that is $25 for you to keep. You can do whatever you want with that money. Our next level is going to be senior consultant. And the way we get to senior consultant is you need to achieve 500 documented value points within a one to two month period. So to do this, you're looking to help about five to seven clients. At senior consultant, you are now at a 35% discount slash profit. So that same $100, you are now going to be making $35 since you're at 35%. Our next level is going to be qualified producer. To get to this level, you need to achieve a thousand documented value points within a one to two month period. With this, you're looking to help about seven to 10 people. At Qualified Producer, you are now making a 42% discount slash profit. So that same $100, you are now making $42. So now you see as you start to move up in the business, you're starting to make more income. And now for the level that everybody wants to be at is Supervisor. To get to this level, you need to achieve a total of 2,000 documented value points within a one to two month period. Now to do this, you're looking to help about 15 to 20 people. And at supervisor, you are now making a 50% discount slash profit. So if you love the product, this is definitely where you wanna be. Um, this is where your business really starts. You start to get vacations. And who doesn't want these products at 50%? I know I do. But, um, and now you're going to be making 50% of that $100, which is $50. So I know we could all use the extra $50 every month. And that's where we tell. Our second way that we make our money is going to be wholesale. Wholesale is going to be our commission that we make from our preferred members and our distributors. So now that we're at this 50% mark, say you have some preferred members or distributors at the 25% mark. You are now going to be making the difference of whatever they sell or purchase. So say you have two people at the 25% mark, you're now gonna be making 25% of whatever they sell. Next, say you have a couple of um, senior consultants, you're now gonna be making the difference of what they sell, which is gonna be 15%. Same for qualified producer, whatever they sell or whatever they purchase, you're now gonna be making the difference, which is 8%. So now, this is going to come to you in a form of a check every 15th of the month. So this is what we call our mailbox money. And that is the second way we make our money. Awesome. All right, now for the third way we make our money is going to be royalties. So say you bring somebody in the business and you help them reach supervisor. 
this is the only way that you can start to earn royalties. So say I bring Dan into the business, I help him reach supervisor. He brings Shannon into the business. He helps her reach supervisor. Shannon brings Ray into the business. He helps her reach supervisor as well. You are now entitled to 5% of whatever they make, of whatever they sell. So Daniel, say he's a certified personal trainer. He's getting all his clients on the products. They love it. He knocks out 7,000 documented value points this month. Shannon, she works at a spa. She uses the skincare products and her clients see her skin is glowing. So she knocks out 3,500 documented value points selling skincare products. Then we have Ray. She's just not getting into the business, but she really did well this month. She is now... She made, um, she now knocked out 4,500 documented volume points this month. So that is going to be a total of 15,000 documented volume points. So now you are entitled to 5% of that 15,000, which is going to be $750. And that's going to come to you in a check. That's going to be a royalty check. And that is the third way that we make our money in the business, royalties. Now for the last way that I'm going to talk about today is going to be bonuses. Now to achieve bonuses, you must be a part of what we call our tab team, which is top achievers in the business. The first level of tab team is what we call get team, global expansion team. Now at global expansion team, you are now entitled to a 2% bonus. So to reach get team, you have to achieve 20,000 organizational value points within a three month period, three consecutive months. And this is now gonna give you a thousand royalty overrides. So now you're gonna take that a thousand royalty overrides and you're gonna take your 2% and divide it by your organizational value points and that's gonna give you 400. Now you're gonna be getting a royalty check of $1,400. Our next level is gonna be 2.5 get team. You are now still at 2%, but your royalty overrides is going to go up to $2,500. So now you take that royalty overrides of $2,500 and your 2% of your $50,000, which is $1,000, and you are now going to be seeing a check of $3,500. Our next level is going to be Millionaire's Team. And at Millionaire's Team, you are now entitled to a 4% bonus. So to achieve Millionaire's Team, you must now... Um, Achieve 80,000 organizational volume points within a three month period. And this is going to give you 4,000 royalty overrides. So take those royalty overrides and your 4% bonus, which is going to be 3,200 at this point, And you're now going to be looking at a $7,200 check. Now for 7.5 mil team, you are still at 4%, but your royalty overrides have gone up to 7,500. You got to take that 7,500 and your 4% of your organizational volume, which is now going to be $6,000. And you're now going to be seeing a check of $13,500. Now for president's team, you are now going to be entitled to 6% of your royalty overrides. I'm sorry, six, you are now entitled to a 6% bonus. So to achieve this, you must do 200,000 organizational volume points. So sorry. 200,000 organizational volume points, and this is going to give you 10,000 royalty overrides. You're going to take your royalty overrides and your 6% bonus, which is going to be 12,000 at this point, and you are now looking at a $22,000 check. That is going to be the last way that I talk about today that we make our money in the business. And that's it. Thank you so much, Destiny. It was cool. It was calm. It was collected. It was clear. It was straight to the point, and it was accurate information. It was. It was. I have one question for you. Um, if you could go over distributor action plan, please, real quick. 2019 distributor action plan is gonna be. You have to have 250,000. I'm sorry, not 250,000. 250. Um documented volume points within three consecutive months or 500 documented volume points within three consecutive months you want me to go over the prizes too yeah sure okay so um for the first level you get i believe it's a lunch bag um is it like an ice box some ta a tab box um i can't remember what else comes in the 
first one. The second one, I believe you get all those things plus a $75 cash reward. Perfect. Thank you. So that was right. It was the uh, Herbalife lunch box with the um, Herbalife branded, of course, everything. Herbalife branded Tupperwares, like for meal preps and stuff like that. And then it's a $75 <laughs> herb. So it can, it can go towards um, Herbalife stuff used on your website, event tickets, LW tickets, maybe even extravaganza, um, things like that. So I just want to say one more time, it was absolutely amazing. I could sit here and talk about how amazing it was all day. I'm just glad that we have this recording. But does anybody have any questions um, for Destiny about the marketing plan? anything at all this is the time to ask i know we got some new people on too nobody has any questions i know it's like we do the marketing plan every single week but y'all know it's a lot to learn it's i do time. there we go what's up Talk okay to so it's about bonuses and um i don't know if i just couldn't hear um about tab team you were speaking clearly but my daughter's watching Peppa Pig. so um could you like go over tab team one more time, please, if not minded at all. Yeah. The, the whole thing? Just tab team. I got everything else. Um, it was just like the first one. Or is that the whole thing? Or, sorry. Yeah, so, I mean, so these are the levels of tab team. So our first level. Okay, okay. cool. Yeah. See, that's what I wasn't hearing at all. <laughs> I was like, I'm is sorry. that like a part? Is that the first step? No, you're fine. So this is the first level, which okay, is Okay, cool. Then I got everything in my notes. Okay. Okay. If you want to take a screen. Actually, I'm just going to screen share. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Does anybody else have any questions about the marketing plan or for Destiny um, before we move on? Any other questions? Going once, going twice. All right, cool. So with that being said, we're going to move on. Again, like I said, Destiny, thank you so much for, um, Bianca's very new, by the way, less than a week into the business, and she just said it was very helpful. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm sure that if you could teach it to us like that, <laughs> that means you could probably go out there and you could teach somebody else how to earn income who really needs it or needs an opportunity or whatever the case maybe um please don't make sure that y'all just on here teaching it to us because there's a lot of people that need this business opportunity for all different reasons time freedom financial freedom um just the community that they might need the positive it, all, any any different reason but let's make sure that we actually going out there and teaching this marketing plan too so thank you again destiny um like i had said in the chat earlier and i'm what we've actually uh, both have been talking about, me and Seven, is the fact that we want to start getting into more like trainings and question and answers during the Braveheart calls because, um, or during the Thursday night call, because on the other days of the week, the other calls, y'all know, Sunday call, we share what we, um, our positive wins, we share that we don't have to come on Thursday and do it again. Same thing with Monday. We already share about the checks, we already share about our takeaways from the events. We don't have to get on here and do it again. So I want y'all to start speaking up on those calls. But on this Thursday call, we're going to do something that we're not getting from the other calls so that it's beneficial. That, so that this time isn't just a time block where we're just sitting on here doing the same things and it's a repetitive call and we're actually like being beneficial with the time. So with that being said, um, we're going to do social media today. So if you have any questions right now, go ahead and think about them so that when we get to where that time is when we're doing question and answers y'all can go ahead and already have questions ready but i have a powerpoint i'm gonna go ahead and share the screen with y'all <coughs> ew <coughs> we're just gonna have to excuse that nasty cough that's coming out of my mouth um but what we're gonna do like i said is go over some social media tips tools trainings all that whatever you want to call it before though i just want to say Whatever you hear from anybody that shares, this is not something that you just go run and do or that you feel like you have to do or like we're your boss and we're telling you to do it. 
Absolutely not. When you came into this business, you're an independent distributor. You can do whatever you want to do. The reason why I was put together is to help you. It's what's helping us or what's helping other people. And we think it'll be beneficial to you if you so choose to be somebody who wants to grow a social media um, page to grow their business. <clears throat> so whatever, whatever that means to you, just remember to always do what feels good to you. So <clears throat> just, okay. Um, I'm going to go over real quick the different tools that are on social media, which we probably already know, but these are going to be pretty much what we're going to be talking about. So as we know, story posts, whether it be Facebook or Instagram, Snapchat, everybody almost has story posts, page posts, the actual content that'll be on your page hashtags and caption that's on all social media as well the fact that you can turn your i'm not sure if facebook does this but your instagram into a business account how that can help you grow your business the location aspect highlights now that we have on the page tagged photos um and then likes and interaction i kind of skipped over this highlights and it doesn't have its own slide so i'm gonna go over that real quick and uh Oh, I should have a picture of that. But <laughs> the highlights that are, you guys go to people's pages and you see they have fitness, food, events, travel, whatever. Those are, that's something that's a simple tool that you can put together on your social media and add to it every single day that people actually look at. It's another way of just being attractive on your page. And we're going to go over all that so I don't have to go into it too deep right now. Um, but then tag photos also doesn't have a slide. So I'll go over that briefly too, but those tag photos on the, the last tab on your page, on your Instagram page that, what is it? I think that's, I don't think it has a name. It just is a little tab, um, where people are tagging you, you, what was brought to my attention today is that I need to clear mine out. So I'll share with y'all to clear yours out as well, because people can tag you in anything. And then if someone goes to your page and sees it, it's like, it might look like junk. It might look like trash. You want to be mindful of what's over there in that tab um, so that your page is still being attractive because anybody could come on your page and look at those things. And there is a way if you just right click on it to get it off your page and hide it from your page. Um, and then likes inter interaction. So I'm going to, um, are you going to come over here? Or do yeah. You Scooch. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna pass it to seven so she can go over the next slide. Hey y'all. It's so funny because Annie acted like me early in the first thing she said is hey y'all. So clearly I say that all the time. Um, I want to first acknowledge Destiny for your marketing plan. Um, I was trying to unmute and that's when the thing got all crazy. But um, the way that you were able to describe how to get there was very calming and soothing. It wasn't it wasn't rushed at all and it was very teachable. Uh, so I just want to acknowledge that you're new in the business, but you could tell how much you looked at the videos and rehearsed it and how much you go over your marketing plan because once you're able to tell somebody how to get there, but once you know how to get there, you can get there. So um, just definitely want to acknowledge how much you studied the marketing plan because it came through so easily. Uh, so the first thing I want to go over is story posts, you guys. So within your story, and like Annie said, all you can eat buffet. So take away with you what you want and then leave what you don't need. But this is going to be how basically social media is working for people that use social media as their DMO. So these are things that you can do. So the first thing is going to be within your stories, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, any social media is going to be being yourself. So of course you want to come off as who you are, not trying to be anyone else, not changing your voice, not changing anything that you would normally do. As well as this, it, the, your story posts are the place where you can basically announce who you are, how fun you are. For instance, Rachel was just like, I can't believe y'all didn't um, notice how funny, I, how funny I am. And she talked about how she used to be so funny in her Instagram story. So this is going to be the place where you're being yourself the most. So this is where your daily interaction will go as well. So you're, you're basically your whole day. So what will be happening is within your whole day, you'll be able to post. Like in the morning, maybe you'll be posting yourself making your shake. And this is going to be in each story. So you'll be posting yourself making your shake. You're posting that you're at the gym. It's basically people being able to keep up with your life and they're able to be around you. So people are able to interact with everything that you're doing just by your story post. For instance, today I made an Instagram story post making my shake, then making my tea. I made a post at the gym. I talk to my clients. I talk to everyone on there afterwards. Another thing that you'll want to do are polls. If you go into your Instagram story when you're ready to post, there's a little sticker 
up at the top. It's like a guy with a smiley face. And that's where you'll be able to do these next two things with your polls and questions. So on polls, it may be saying, who's ready to lose weight now? And you can have someone saying, me girl, or maybe it, one, one answer can say, me girl, the next side can say, not ready yet. But you always wanna make sure with your polls that the answers still lead it back to something that you can interact with. So you don't wanna say, no, I'm not ready. Not necessarily a good poll answer to have on the other side. Both things wanna be positive and things that will lead back. You'll wanna make sure you're doing polls in your story because it gives a way for people to interact with you. The next thing will be questions. You have the thing where you can ask, you can ask questions. Of course, you can always post a question like, what is something you wanna learn about Herbalife? Me personally, I allow the question so people, that can, people can get a little bit more personal with me. What do you wanna know about me? What are struggles you are having with weight loss? The good thing is when you repost the answer, it's anonymous, so they're able to open up about anything. A lot of people have questions that they're scared to DM you directly, but they will ask you in a question post. The next thing will be going live. Go live at fit camps. Go live when you're working out. Go live while you're making your shakes. These are different ways, of course, it because it saves in your story post for up to 24 hours for you to interact with the people that you see daily, for them to be able to see you in your natural self, for them to feel like they're actually your friend. Have you ever met somebody on social media? Y'all never met in person, but on social media, that's your best friend. You go to their page every day. You know what they're doing. You know things that they're going to say. You know when something about to drop on their page. It's your best friend. So going live and polls and questions are a way for you to interact with your um, clients that are potentially just your friend. You want to make it seem like this is just a friendly place to be. Product display. This is somewhere where you are able to do a little sneak peek. Hey, this is shape. Hey, this is tea. Da, 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 da. So that's going to be a way for you to have your products without your page being overwhelmed with Herbalife products up and down your actual story feed. I feel like I'm yelling, so I'm going to come down a little bit because, Jesus, I got excited. Social media is like my thing, so it made me be like, yeah, mm, social media, whatever. Um, what? You don't like my sweatshirt? Keep going. Um, <laughs> next thing is going to be, uh, bop, bop, all right, Rachel. 30-second story. This uh, your story post is going to be a great place for you to tell your 30-second story, for you to give your product results, your business results. This is a place where you can post in your page, made $300 today. Not typical, but it's possible. Whatever it is that you want to put in your story is going to be a way for you to show them throughout your day. Take time to actually stop. Put the camera to your face and talk to your story. Be able to say, this is my journey before Herbalife, da 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 Or today, the crazy thing is that so many people think it, I have a story post today that I'm going to use. Everybody think it's hard to lose weight. The first thing I did was start with myself. I started by saying yes to myself. I used to be 202 pounds, but the way that I was able to lose the weight was not by working out hard every day. It's by continuously knowing that I could give myself a second chance. That's something that you would want to put in a story post because you're going to have someone interact with that. Wow, girl, I didn't know that. Oh my gosh, you ain't how much before Arborlife? How does this product work? What is Prolessa? Your call to action posts are going to be your posts that say, swipe up. If you have over 10K followers, write this down. If you don't have 10K followers, 10K should be a goal because 10K is where you're able to do your call to action posts, which actually creates a lot of interaction on your page. That is where you're going to be able to say, swipe up now. And when they swipe up, you're able to put a link in there as far as your Go Herbalife. You're able to put job forms. You're able to put a link to any type of website so that you're actually able to have the call to action to your page. But you have to have 10,000 followers or more. But this is big for, it's going to be going over and growing your social media because you want to be able to have that tool. Because for instance, today I made a post, I put swipe up. I have 10 emails from people that swiped up and filled out a wellness evaluation. That's going to be something that's called an action. So that's why I said swipe up if possible. Uh, never too many stories. Your stories can be as long as possible. I promise you it's going to be people that click off your story, click back onto your story. They're gonna go to the next one. You'll be able to go in there and see if people are interacting on the story post. So you know which story post to keep posting. You know what's making people go away. But you want to post as much as possible because you want to show people as much as you can. Social media is a place where you can be very public even if you're a private person. You can show people as much of your day as they feel like they need to see, to feel like they're involved with you, to get more comfortable, to grow a relationship 
friendship with you through your social media. Um, no negativity or bashing, keep it cute. That's self-explanatory. Don't be on your story being like, oh my God, y'all can buy Jordans. You can buy your baby some Jordans, but you're not buying no Urban Life. That's not us. We're very positive. So you want to make sure you're luring people in, not pushing them away by being negative in your page. If you're not having a good day, stay off your story. If you're going through a breakup, maybe stay off your story for that day so that you're not being bipolar in your story posts. Like, oh my God, I love Urban Life. Oh, I'm so lonely. I need friends. Forget everybody. It's just me, myself, and I, Beyonce mode. Don't, you, we don't want to do that. So keep the negativity, the bashing to a no. It's not a minimum. It's just a no. Um, and consistency. Making sure that on your story post that you're continuously doing it. You want to make people be invited to your page every day. Oh, my God, I wonder what Destiny is doing today. Oh, my God, I seen Nisha in the gym earlier. Let me go to her page to get that workout that I seen that she was about to do. Hey, I seen they was at an Herbalife event. I want to see what that's about. So let me go back to their page and look at it again. So daily, you want to be consistently posting on your story. Invites. This is a perfect place on your story to invite to Fit Camp's 21-day challenge, Herbalife opportunity meetings. This is the place for your flyers to go, and you can post it as much as possible. And this will be, even if you're posting a flyer, it's a good way to post a poll on top of the flyer and say, who wants to come to Fit Camp on Sunday? Hey, me, girl, I'm coming. Second option, I need the address. So after that, we're going to go into the next section in which Annie is going to go over. And I see the key page, private or public. There is no such thing as a private business, so your page should always be public. And to answer that question, too, I like to say, if your page is private, who are you hiding from? The clients? The potential business partners? Unless, for some reason, your page has to be private. Completely understand that if that's something, you know. But what do you have to hide? Definitely want to make your page uh, public. Um, I had wrote down something that it just, like, what she was saying was everything that she said, whatever you do, stay consistent with it. Like, stay consistent with the day-to-day. -day. Stay consistent with the post. Stay consistent with all of these things because you might not see results right then and there the next day, the next week. But I promise y'all, y'all know, and y'all can even say it, some of y'all was following your sponsor, even told him, hey, I was following you for two years. Hey, I was following you for six months. Hey, I saw like 10,000 of your posts before I was ready. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. Stay consistent. And then just remember that the reason why you're posting that day-to-day -day life is so that they, you build trust. Not so that you want everybody to know what you ate for breakfast and blah, blah, blah. One, you're promoting living a healthy, active lifestyle. And then two, you want to build trust with people. They want to know, people want to know that you really bought this life. It's not like a thing that you're doing for a couple of days or a couple of weeks or whatever the case may be. Nah, some people need to see you do it for three months straight and they're like, oh, she really do herbal life, herbal life. Yeah. But the only way that that's going to happen is if you stay consistent. So um, next what we're going to do is go over the page post and the page content rather. So the first thing that you see up there is quality, quality, and more quality, okay? So here's a couple of different um, characteristics, traits, whatever you wanna call it, that your post should have to be attractive, pretty much. So great lighting, overall just being attractive, no clutter, no trash, no, oh my God, is it blurry? Can I really see you? Y'all know how you feel when you go to somebody's page and you be like, this a mess. What is going on on here? Or when you go to somebody's page and you'd be like, yo, this is so bright. This page is dope. Like I'm about to follow her. Understand that people are going to follow you for a reason. Or they're going to not follow you for a reason. They like what they see or they don't like what they see. Make sure that the page is inviting. Like it's like it pops out. There's color. There's and I know it's like a real known fact. If y'all Google, like what kind of pictures get more likes, it will always tell you sunlight and trees. <laughs> I don't know why people like it. I don't know why. It's a real thing. Google it. I promise y'all learned it from Google. Sunlight and trees. Go outside. <laughs> Take a picture. Like when you go to your page and you can do it right now, you can do it in a week after you follow these things, whatever it is, you have to ask yourself. What I want to follow me or what I want to sign up with me as a business partner, what I want to sign up with me as a health coach, or do I have 
Herbalife, Herbalife, Herbalife. And I know that on the new member orientation, it'll definitely say no herbal vomit on the social media slide. I don't think we got to go over that, but I'm going to say it for all my new people. Y'all, be attractive. If you went to someone's page and you see Herbalife all down it, no results, no their face, no nothing else, just a whole bunch of herbal vomit all over the place, would you want to sign up with them? Probably not. Because you're like, this is cool. I heard of this before. How many times we don't see like wellness things before, wellness programs? You have to think when you're posting, what's going to make me stand out? What's going to make me pop? What's going to make me different from everybody else? Um, and then I've shared this a few times, but I would definitely share it again because it's, it's something that I've been using consistently for a long time, and it works. It gives me less work to do, and um, like I said, it works. So the lifestyle posts. Sometimes we get like caught up in, oh, my God, I don't know what to post today. I know that it happens to me for sure, <laughs> or I used to. And these are the six things that I like to choose from. And this was actually from um, the, I guess we want to call, I hate calling it the Hispanic org, but the Hispanic org, so y'all know they got the popping Instagram, the popping social media. This is the list that they use outside of number six. I added that on there. So you would choose for whatever your goal is. For me, my goal every day is three to five. Uh, social media post today a, a day some people it's five no matter what for you you might be just starting off your goals might be just part-time and you just want to clean up your social media whatever your goals are for whatever it is that you're trying to do one to three times a day cool pick three of these posts the first one cleaned up dressed up people want to see that you're still a regular human people want to see that you go out to eat you go to the movies you get dressed up you still live a normal life that's why I like to post like, y'all, I'm about to go out tonight. And I join a night on the town, Friday night shenanigans, like, because I'm still human. <laughs> I'm not just Herbalife, 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 Herbalife. Because if I was, would you want to join the business? No, I'm an herbal robot. Two, transformation posts. We all, and it could be yours. I, I highly, highly suggest you doing yours because people want to see you. Don't forget that. People came to your post. I mean, they came to your page because they want to see you. But a transformation post, and if you're still working on yours or you don't have, if you're a weight loss client and you want to just start showing off games, cool. Post a transformation post of a game. Something that I like that a couple of people do, and I like to do it sometimes too, is if you have a picture with somebody who has games, for example, and you do the swipe thing, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You post a picture of you and them, and it'd be like, swipe right to check out this person's results. I love that. Actually, another thing that I've seen um, like a thousand and one times before, I was like, I'm going to try this because it's more appealing to start off with. That's the only reason why for me. Like if I post a picture of me and a guy and then put their results because I want to show people that well, I'm not a guy, so I can't post my before and after and expect to get a lot of guy clients. But I do want to show people that this is for men too. Now, if you're cool with just a female client base and just a female team, Cool, don't even listen to that part. But I want to help everybody. Anybody who wants to be helped. So transformation post, it could be you, it can be a teammate, whatever. Um, three is healthy, active lifestyle. So something showing your healthy, active lifestyle. Um, that could be a picture in the gym. That could be you on top of a mountain. That can be you drinking a shake. That could be anything showing a healthy, you with the yoga class, you running, I don't, whatever it is. Just remember, great lighting, no clutter, inviting, attractive, bright, personality, whatever that is to you. Number four is something with a family member, spouse. I'm going to add this on there. Team member, pet, kids, something with somebody else, okay? Something with someone in your circle of influence. Number five is a product post, so something with the products in it. That could be, oh, my God, look at me drinking my shake. So cute in this nice light. Um, something like that. Or a picture of you as shake with your shake. A picture of you and your tea. Shake and tea. Tea with your meal. Um, skincare. That's a product. Rebuild. Look at me kissing my rebuild because I got games. Great. Anything. Think outside of the box. You don't got to do nothing that nobody else is doing. It could be just a picture of your face. Look at these skin results. Like, anything it does not have to be the same thing every single day just understand that we have how many products too many 
find, get you a result. We don't got to go over that part, but get you a result with as many products as possible. And let's start showing people literally how much stuff we have. And then the sixth thing is a quote, motivation, um, something like that. Y'all know we like to motivate people to live a healthy, active lifestyle. So that's just something that I added on for me personally that, of course, I want to share with y'all because I love quotes. <laughs> um, and then stuff to do on your the content that you post that's definitely going to help is something as simple as using the location tag. So if, for example, if I'm at LA Fitness, I'm going to post that I'm at LA Fitness and I'm going to tell you exactly which one I'm at. Why? Because people go and has anyone ever done this? When you were about to go somewhere, you click this location, a restaurant, the nail salon, a hair salon, the whatever, the, the, the city, whatever it is, we click on the location and be like, hmm, let me see what they wear to this place. Hmm, let me see what type of people up here. People do that. So if I put on there, LA Fitness, um, Panola Road, and I got a picture of me in the gym or I got a video of me working out in the gym, somebody going to click on it and be like, oh, what's she doing? And the reason why they're looking up these things is because they need help. Why, why, like, it literally takes two seconds, by the way, to click the location and put it on there. It's not going to hurt you, only going to help you. So that's something that I just wanted to share to try to do as much as possible. Um, and for some reason, I'm going to give y'all a little tip. For some reason... If putting a location at the airport, I don't know why, <laughs> but people search the airport a lot. <laughs> I'll randomly put an airport on my thing just because, and people will mention me like, girl, where are you going? Nowhere, I just needed to use that real quick to get, get a little comments or something. But I don't know, just as a little tip that I've learned. Um, another thing that I already kind of talked about was consistency. No matter how many times your schedule allows, whatever it is, stick to it. Whether it's gonna be one post a day, three posts a day, two posts a day. Um, do something that is a, in alignment with your goals. For me, I'm going for three to five every time. I want it all the way. I want as many people as possible to see mine. I want as many people as possible to be reminded that I do Herbalife, I have results, I be with my team, I love these products, I can motivate you, and I also live a regular life. That was all six products, I mean all six posts. So yeah, I'm going for all six every single day, which means, yes, taking a lot of pictures, but ain't nothing wrong with that nothing at all so there's a lot of other stuff like i said that we do on social media so i'm gonna pass it back to seven so we can go over these captions and these hashtags um one thing like annie said you can take away what you want keep what you don't i mean keep what it is what you don't want one thing that um i personally do on my social media if you guys know me personally i post majority of my own results majority of my own pictures. And one thing that I did pick up when I was talking to um, someone, one of the people that's on the team that made it to um, world team to get 2.5 in five months, how they do things. Unfortunately, they do not tag each other as in tagging you in the post. Look at Annie like scrunching her face at me, but I feel like uh, I kind of feel them on that because really I don't do it too much. Tagging them on the post, I feel like as business partners, we will understand if you're not tagged because at the end of the day, sometimes it can drive business to the other person's page and they're coming to interact with you. And this is big for a lot of you guys that post constantly someone else's results. It's okay to post their name. For instance, if I'm posting, me, I got a picture with me and Mackenzie. I mean, necessarily, I'm not going to tag. Mackenzie Baltimore, da, da, da. he may be tagged in the photo, is in the tag photos, but in the caption, you could put, this is my business partner, Mackenzie. He, he used to be a Hennessy ambassador, da, 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 da. But as far as in every single story post and every single Instagram post, you're tagging all of your other business partners. Sometimes you can drive the person to their page. Not saying that we don't want to help everybody. Yes, we do. But in the value sometimes can come from being on your own page, your own results. And even if you are sharing somebody else's journey, you're not constantly tagging them, tagging them, tagging them, tagging them, tagging them, tagging them, and driving business to their page. Like I said, that's something I personally feel. Um, you don't have to roll with that. It's, everybody's not going to roll with that, which is fine. It's just something I felt like I would bring up because a lot of us go into the constantly tagging our business partners and posting their results that we forget about our own. And we forget about hyping ourselves up and stuff like that. So, sorry, I wanted to go over that. So, with that being said, captions. <laughs> um, you want to make sure your captions are positive. 
clean language, relatable, understandable, and have some type of call to action. As you can see on the middle part of the caption, it says, um, the best part of staying ready is you don't have to get ready. Do you have a black backup plan for everything that rip if everything went wrong with your normal job today? Are you tired of working day and night with no financial freedom? Let's try and change that. And then the end says, ask me how. Or sometimes we'll say, drop a comment. Um, who, drop a drop a dollar sign in the check if you um, a dollar sign in the in the comments if you want financial freedom. Those are what are things that are called calling to action, meaning that you're having people interact on your post by adding comments to it. The more comments and interaction you have on your post, due to the algorithm that Instagram has, the more people will see it. So you always want to make sure that your con your caption has some type of call to action as well as with the relatable clean um clean language you just want to make sure that it's understandable your comp your captions are spelled out right the sentences make sense thankful that even with leaving the salon until thursday i'm able to fly out and still work from wherever i want that's the caption that's attractive because somebody's going to say how are you doing that they may not comment on your picture but they may send you a dm like how so with the hashtags you want to save them. Put your hashtags in your notes. If it's hashtags that you use all the time, Herbalife, I do Herbalife, Girl Boss, Travel, Fitness, Health Coach. If these are captions that you use all the time, you want to copy them and paste them in your notes so that when you're making your captions on Instagram, you don't have to be like, oh, what hashtags can I use? You can go to your notes, copy them out your notes, paste the um, notes into the caption so that you already have all those hashtags. Use as many hashtags as possible. Don't don't think it's ever too many hashtags. People search hashtags all the time. So you want to just separate them from your caption. Make sure they're easy to understand. Make sure Motivation Monday, not Motivation Monday with your girl seven. Like just Motivation Monday because it's short and simple. It's an easy hashtag to understand. It's something that somebody's actually going to search. Work from home is something that somebody's actually going to search. So you want to just make sure you're separating your caption and using as many people as possible. Now, this is where I was talking about if there was somebody tagged in the photo that was in this photo with me, I would tag them in the photo as in edit photo and tag them. But in my caption, it's about me. It's my page. It's about me, my business. Everybody hit thumbs up if you understand kind of what that meant with the keeping people. Not saying like don't interact with your friends. Not what I'm saying. As What I'm saying is are you doing all this interaction and stuff that you're doing on your social media to drive people to your business? Still make sure you're putting your business at the forefront. Shout your friends out. It's cool, but still remember social media is a business tool. Your friends will understand. There's plenty of people that post my results and they don't tag seven of stylists. Why? You, you tag me on the before and after. You may drive that person to my page. I may have the results they're looking for versus them asking you how can i get the result of your business partner that you posted does that make sense people hit up annie all the time and say i want seven's results and she's used the before and after which is fine that's why we drop them in chat she's not saying she's not tagging at seven to stylist business we do business get your results da, 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 because guess what then those people looking for those results may be driven to my page but they initially wanted the results and products from her now thumbs up if that makes sense maybe that's how i should have worded it at first so you just want to make sure that you're acknowledging that you can get these results but also acknowledging you can get these results with your girl right i may not be able to tag them i'm not a man i ain't got manly results i'm not and he has great arms right rebuild or something cool i don't have great arms may tag her i may have a post up yeah get the da 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 da, -da. Cool, all right, but you can get these results from me. You can get these from Rachel. Got it. You want booty gains? Got it. Get it from Rachel. I got you. Okay? So we're going to go into, nope, no, nope. Yeah. Put your, put your finger. Oh. I'm going to do the next slide. Oh. Okay, so I, I thought this was the cutest, cutest, cutest quote that I've seen um, at New York uh, JKO is marketing is no longer about the stuff you sell, but about the stories you will make. And that's big because you're no longer just selling the product. You're basically offering yourself in the business we're in. You're offering yourself and the products come afterwards. You know shakes taste good. You know pro, you know pro less to get you snatched. You know beauty booster is like a simply lemonade in a canister. 
but what you're giving the people is yourself. So it's going to be the stories you make. Um, so with that, with work and social media, you guys, you want to do, what, why do you keep looking at me? Like, it's just like a stare. Intentional DM dives. So you want to make sure that you are DM diving and it's making sense. You're not just DM diving random people. Everything is intentional. These people that you're doing the call to action with, you're actually DMing them with intent to get them into your business. You're DMing them with intent to have interaction with them. It's not just a, let me just search random people and DM dive them like, hey girl, hey, hey babe, I see you like my post about the 21 day challenge. Would you like to get snatched with me? Hey girl, I see you like my post about um, having additional income. What do you do for work? Follow up with your likes. The people that like your pictures and interact, they are interested in something that you're doing. So make sure on those days where you have 500 likes on a photo that you're going to the photo, going to the people's page, going back to their page, maybe liking two pictures and saying, hey, see you on my page. If you know anybody with a nutrition planner, if you need one yourself, just let me know. I'm your girl. Get at me. Cool. Answer your polls. So on your polls that you're making in your story posts, make sure that you go back, go to the result and actually answer the polls. You don't want to do polls daily and you're never answering them because people will stop responding to your posts. Private message for things that are in your comments. If somebody comments you about the business opportunity, about a product, you want to take that from a comment on your page that's public to a message that is private. You can still go and like the comment, but you want to make sure that your interaction with them, you never know how transparent they need to be, how embarrassed they may be, or they just need a private conversation and it makes the person feel important. Take that comment, click on their page, and send them a private message. Search in hashtags and locations. The locations that you put in your pictures, the hashtags, people are going to search those. But as coaches, it's important that we go and search hashtags and locations that relate to us. If you work out at a local LA Fitness, go on there and search the hashtag. You may be able to find your next health coach. You may be able to find your next press team member. You may be able to find your next client at these locations that you're going to all the time. The hashtags Motivation Monday, you may find somebody that say, needed some motivation today, send them some PD, right? So you're able to search these things and actually work social media. Uh, increasing your engagement by following the insight map on business accounts. When you switch to a business account, you're able to go to your insight on the page. It's going to look like a whole bunch of bars on the side of the page. You're able, let me try, hurry up. Really good. Okay, so you're gonna, well, can't really see it because of the phone, but it's three bars on the side and you'll hit insight. It'll tell you your interactions on the page. It'll tell me tell you how many actions are taken from your page. What's the best times for you to post? What's the best days for you to post? How many profile visits do you have? Emails, texts, how many impressions do you have? How many people are you reaching? Um, it'll tell you the content as far as how many people view all your posts, how many new posts you have for the week and how much you're increasing or decreasing as far as like your impressions of people you're reaching out to. It'll also tell you your audience, how, what, lo, what are your top locations that are actually interacting with your page, the age range. For instance, most of my audience is from Atlanta, New York, Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, from the ages of 13 to 44. The main ages are 13 to 34. The gender are 82% women, 18% men. The best times for me to post are between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., at which peak times are 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. So you increase your engagement by following the map of this insights. Once you switch to a business page, it's telling you everything that you need to know about your business in the insights on the page. So it's telling you these are the best times for you to post. These are how many posts you're doing. If it's increasing or decreasing, if it increased one week, then decrease the next week, you may need to go back to the things you were doing when it was increased. And to end it off, make sure that you be yourself. Keep it short and to the point. As far as like DMs, make, DM dive and make sure that you're not sending a four page DM dive. Nobody's going to read that possibly. Probably not, nine times out of 10. As well as no assumptions. Reach out to everyone. Reach out to those people with 100K. You never know they may answer back. Reach out to everyone that you know. Also, stay within your target market. So you want to make sure that you're deciding what market is that you want to reach. You can be open, but decide what market is that you want to reach and then continue to go for that market and keep your page consistent. Yeah, that was an accident. Okay. 
I just wanted to go through these comments real quick. I know that that was like a lot of info, probably, maybe a little bit. Um, so definitely you're welcome. I'm going to stop this share. That's funny quick. that I actually went and did that. Like he was like, I want to go to the comments. And that's what I was doing on my phone. Mm. I wasn't making that face. I'm just trying to figure out why you're always on Zoom on your phone. <laughs> like, it's, it never fails. <laughs> I just wonder. Ooh, anyways, where did the PowerPoint go? Okay. Oh, I went to No, no, no. All right. Um, so, does anybody have any questions that they might have thought about so far? All we have left on our, oh, I lied, <laughs> I forgot. Um, well, actually, what I'll do real quick then is go over these examples, because we kind of talked about like the different ways um, to work your social media just now with seven. Um, the different ways to work your social media that we just talked about, like the follow-ups, the polls, all these different tools that you can use. And I know that it's a lot. What I like to do, what helps me is just setting a goal. Like, all right, I'm going to do three polls today. This is when I'm going to follow up with the polls. Because especially for people who have jobs, kids, blah, 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 set times, time block. Time block. Figure out what time works best for you to sit there and follow up with those polls. What time works best for you to do those dives? Figure it out with, like I said, it's, we all live all different types of lives. Figure out what works for you. Um, but I know that there's a lot to do, but what I'm going to do is kind of show you two examples of um, DM dives. So I chose these two because they happen to be supervisors now, earning income with the business, and um, one of them has a goal of going completely full-time with it and the other one is still doing the business while in italy right now overseas in the military and this started from a dm dive so with that being said i'm like as you can see i'm going to make it a little bigger is that better rachel i can see your face can you tell me yes or no okay cool <clears throat> so <laughs> the person on the right i mean on the left is tyler so she was in my likes, don't know if she liked two pictures or three, maybe even 10, don't care. Couldn't wait to message her and be like, hey girl, thanks for the likes and thanks for supporting me. How are you? I was super myself, gave her the emojis, very friendly, very inviting. Um, and then we had a conversation and went from there. But the reason why I'm showing you the languaging of how I was talking is because I was being myself. I was just not super long paragraph like seven just said it was nothing that she had to like dissect take 10 minutes to read it was a quick hey girl thanks for supporting me how are you and then i noticed that she was actually oh by the way if you're wondering like where like that came from i actually think i liked her pictures first i seen her in a, a hashtag i think she hashtag like la fitness or one of those gyms out there and that's how that came about anyways i i I have a quick question though. Do you use any specific protein for yourself or your clients? Because I've seen that she was training people. Pay attention to what people are doing. So I had to go through her page, figure out how to have a conversation with her. It was a very personal message. So I just wanted to show y'all that one example. Conversation went on from there and just a little backstory on this. Tyler actually didn't end up signing up for like another February, March, April, May, June, another four or five months. Guess who was super consistent on their social media while Tyler was watching every single day? Me. Y'all, the proof is in the pudding. All this stuff that we're saying, like, it, it really works. Like we said, it's a buffet, take what you want, but it works. Being consistent works in any aspect of life, but just wanted to get that example. And then on the right, completely different conversation, but it was a like follow-up again. Um, this is actually Facebook Messenger. Hey, I seen I, you like my post about body and health goals. Do you know anyone who is looking to lose or gain weight? Now I asked, do you know anyone? Because I didn't want to say, hey, are you looking to lose weight? Because that would have been maybe a little bit offensive. So I said, do you know anyone? Look what she said. Actually, yeah, I do. There's a couple girls on my face that are looking to lose weight and find a good health regimen. Great. Can you pass on my information? I love referrals. I don't care. I don't care. I love, I want to help whoever wants help. She said, we're stationed in Jersey. 
Does that affect with anything? No. Y'all, like, five months later, she messaged me, and she was like, hey, girl, um, actually, it's me. I'm ready to get started. Again, it was a seed that was planted. There was a lot of consistency with my post, and then she came around when she was ready to come around. People are going to be ready when they're ready to. Our job is just to let them know that we're here. That's exactly what I did. This conversation with Tyler, I let her know that the business opportunity was here. This conversation with Trezia, I let her know, hey, here's my number. I'm, helping, I'm ready to help anyone who's ready to help work on their um, body or health goals, rather it been her or the girls on base. Two examples right there. Um, another two examples. This, these are from Cole follow-ups. So this one happens to be Bailey, who, by the way, just hit uh, senior consultant, y'all. She just finished off at that last order, hit senior consultant on the way to qualify producer. So congratulations, Bailey. But this is our conversation in October, October 29th. I, y'all know, again, me being myself, I'm like, girl, you are so beautiful and I love your body. She's absolutely beautiful and she had results. I already seen the results on her page. She happened to um, go to my poll, so what I did, was I looked at the person, I checked them out, again, super duper personal, and I said exactly what you see on the screenshot right there. Just seeing your, uh, I think the poll was, would a workout guide help you on your journey, yes or no? Or yes, or send details, something like that. And what I, what my intention, remember, always, always, always be intentional. My intention was to add people, with the whole point in that poll was to get people into the 21 day challenge where there's a workout guide. That's something that everybody on this call can do because the workout guide is provided to us. It's nothing that you got to go make up or do. All you got to do is bring the people to it. So hell yeah, I'm going to go on to my poll every single day and ask who need a workout guide because there's one in this challenge and it's lit. Hey, it comes with a workout guide. That'll definitely help you. Does this interest you? What are your goals? Always want to ask a question when you're DMing people so that they have something to reply back to because if you just leave them with something like the one that's on the right, <laughs> you probably won't get a reply, okay? So I asked that she let me know that um, her goals and she let me know why she was doing it. Her and her girlfriend going on a cruise, I need to look right, great. I can't wait to help you with that. Let's get on the phone. Come and find out, she needs to earn some extra income too and now we're here. Who just drew that X on my, on my thing? <laughs> Who did it? It was Rachel. No, it wasn't. Destiny. Girl, be quiet. it was you probably on your phone. <laughs> Anyways, so um, this was a copy and paste message that I was trying out. As you can see, it's a real screenshot. Yesterday at 8.06 a.m. I sent that out. No shame in my game. I'm going to try out everything just to see what works and what don't. And whoever is drawing, I'm going to swear. It's right Rachel. Out. She said it was her. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, the reason why I don't like this message is because I didn't ask them for a question. I didn't leave them with something that they had to respond to. However, is there anything wrong with it? No, because I directed them to my site. And I also planted a seed. Because like Seven was saying, some people ain't gonna be like so super duper comfortable, oh my God, girl, help me get results. No, they're gonna be chilling, scared, watching your page, watching your page, watching your page, waiting for that call to action. This is a call to action. Please go fill out a wellness profile on my site, include your number and I'll reach out to you so we can work together on some results. Did this work for some people? Yes, did I get a lot of responses? No, because there's no question. There's no conversation to be had. But did I have some people to go follow up with in my email? Absolutely. Do what feels good to you. Do what works for you. That is the, I don't know if y'all took anything else away from this. I hope that you got a lot of it. I know we went over on time and we still not done. We got one more slide. Uh-uh. <laughs> But do what works for you. Hopefully those screenshots help a lot. I'm gonna pass it to seven. So she can watch okay, Rachel, stop drawing. Um, okay, so social media is your business card, nutrition club, store, whatever it is. So you want to make sure that out during your face to face, I love Pete telling people on Instagram, oh my god, follow my Instagram, seven stylists. Not gonna lie, it feel good when they be like, oh my God, girl, I follow you. I'll be like, wow, I look like a crackhead today. Don't, you know, whatever. But personally, you want to always, you guys, don't let social media take you away from face to face. That is your personal business card. That is your what you need to give people. That is something you can have pulled up. Oh my God, girl, look at my results. Always have your page to, to so, ugh, so that it's inviting, so that you're using it as everything. Your social media is your nutrition club. You're showing people how to use the products, what products you can get. 
Your social media is your business card. It's your store. It shows what you have. It shows who you are. You are selling yourself. Follow the steps from using your tools. All those tools that were on there, the slideshow will be dropped in the chat, but you want to make sure that you are following those steps on there so that you're growing your social media. We're not going to, we ain't going to just put it out there like everything cool. Social media is not for everybody. It's not a thing that's for everybody. Face to face is not for everybody, but you have to find out what works best for you. I just follow a 50K chairman's club member. Yeah, they, I mean, president's team member on their way to uh, chairman's and they only have 635 followers. It's not for everybody. It, it, you don't have to use social media. You can grow your social media along the way so you can continue using it as a business card, as a nutrition club, as your store. But social media alone doesn't have to be your it thing. It's not a make or break to get you the press team. It's not a make or break to get you $500 in retail. Me personally, I'm just now getting into using Facebook. I love Instagram, killing Instagram. Don't know how to use Facebook. It's not going to break me, but I am at least trying it out, right? So you follow those steps from there. Also, comment on others' posts and interact with others. When I first started, social media wasn't a good DMO with me because I was real bougie with my Instagram. I wasn't following people back. It's some people, y'all know, I, we just start, I just started following you back literally like a month ago. Like, crazy. Wow, that's crazy. That's just ignorant, right? But come, make sure you're commenting and interacting with others so that you're not just keeping your social media like it's this exclusive thing. You can't follow anybody. You can't comment back. Because you'll have those people that be like, oh my gosh, you wrote me back. Oh my gosh, can't believe you responded. So you want to make sure that you're interacting with these people so they don't feel like just a number. That you are growing a friendship. You're growing trust with them to come to your social media. And it's a business tool because not only are you, they going to follow you, they're going to tell people about your page. Oh my God, girl, follow the Virgin Islands Fit Couple. Cute couple do Herbalife. They so cute, you got to go follow their page. But if you don't respond to them, if you don't interact with them, they're not going to feel inviting to invite someone else. Um, as well as with growing your social media, of course, followers are attractive. So we did have a link on here for Captivate. Captivate, we will drop it. Captivate is something that you have to work very hard to use. Be completely transparent with you. You're going to have to work very hard to use Captivate, but it does work. Um, a Captivate person I know for sure use it and it's working um, and they've been using it for a while is Joss Boss. Um, she uses it and it definitely works for her. Her social media has grown. So I would say that's somebody that you can reach out to to ask if you get lost. Tyler just recently started using it and it's working for her. It is hard, but it is something that if you would like to grow your social media and you don't naturally just get followers, it's something that you can use to get followers to gain clients. Um, did you have anything else? Um, up to 170, 170 files in a day. That's a lot of problems. <clears throat> Does anybody who uses Captivate want to share real quick on how it's been or how it's helped them? Because me, I, I personally have, yes, it's an app. Um, and I'm going to send the video and I'll actually send it right now just to completely clear up all of this. I'll send it in this chat box that for y'all who are asking so that y'all have it twice. Boom. Okay. So is anybody who real, I don't, I seen Josh, did you want to share? Okay. Um, just real quick, how it's helped you because we can only like tell you about it. I can't speak from a personal space. So I want to have someone of course, who has been using it and how it's helped you. Hey guys, Josh Fox here from the ACL. Um, so I actually started, I was actually born in, um, I was in Steven's group and I had asked him about Captivate or I was really excited because at first I was using the promotions on Instagram and I kept posting about actually Tyler and I were in that same group, I think. Yeah, we were in the same group together. So I think we both got it with it. And I was really excited talking about how I was basically paying money to promote my post on Instagram. Uh, to gain followers. So that's when Steven was like, well, what are you trying to do? And I'm like, I'm just trying to get a wider variety of people on my page, really. Like, the, I'm not really trying to buy anything or get anyone to buy anything right up front, but I want a larger um, crowd that will, like, a larger traffic to come to my Instagram. So um, I started Captivate, like, three months ago, and I was actually, because of my high work volume with Quick Trip in December, I kind of let it, like, fall just a little bit for, like, three weeks. 
um, which I would advise that once you start, don't stop um, because it is a big impact. I started at 2,100 followers and since then I'm now at 4,600. Um, and I've been able to retain those followers and I actually have people to interact on my post now. Um, I have a lot more likes and a lot more comments just to be able to work off of. Now it doesn't, what, what Captivate does is it helps you mass follow people. It does not make people follow you. You have to add, um, you have to add value to your page. Like everything that Annie and seven are talking about. You have to do all these things plus do Captivate. You can't just do Captivate and think it's gonna work for you because people are not gonna follow your page just because you follow them. Now, if you follow them and they, and they go to your page and they see who you are and they like what you have to offer, like the content on your page, maybe your stories, your highlights, whatever it might be, if they like what you do, then they're gonna follow you back. And then they might ask you about it, like simple things that I do as I do my mind dumping every night. Um, I try not to do it as much every night because of the fact that it's something more personal, but I like to do it at least, you know, four times a week. I do my handstand challenge and, and people ask me why I'm doing those things. So it gives them one, I, I have traction to my page. So I went from people um, viewing my stories from like a hundred and it would never be more than 200. Now I get at least 250 to 300 um, that will view my stories. And then, um, I would have, before my promotions, before promoting my photos, I would have never gotten over like, unless it was like some really big weight loss transformation photo, I never got over 200 likes. Now I get about 200 to 400 likes. But um, once again, that's just bringing traction to your page. Then you have to go into those people's DMs. Like you have to get into their DMs. You have to, um, you have to follow them back. You have to like their pictures. You have to watch their stories. You have to show them attention too. It doesn't really work if you're not willing to work it. So um, I definitely recommend that for anyone that wants to do social media. Um, Cause like I said, I went from 2,100 to 4,600 now and it's always building up. And what I do is I constantly have it running. I actually have it running now. So this is my Captivate on my iPad. What it's doing is it is both following and unfollowing people for me right now. Um, and of course, Annie sent you guys the video. I'm, I'm sure it's the same one that I watch, but I basically make sure it's running all the time. And what I'm starting to do now is to keep myself from using my phone when I need to be studying herbalife.com. I now use Captivate on my phone too. So it keeps me from using my phone, but it's also using my phone for like a positive thing. So like, not only is this iPad running by unfollowing and following people, but then I can set my phone up to follow more people. And you can, what it does is you can say you go to Noelle Benepe's page, um, which is someone I really like, or Brittany Perilli or someone like that, whatever, some really big known person that you think would have great followers. Like I've gone to a variety of people. Um, and like Seven said, know who you want to attract. So for me, I'm, I, I was weight loss. So a lot of people are attracted to me because of the weight loss I was able to lose. Um, so I go to a lot of pages um, that might have to do with weight loss or, you know, fitness challenges or something like that. So people that run fitness challenges, I go to their page and I'll select to copy maybe a thousand to 2000 of their followers. And then what it will do is you'll select run it on night mode and then it will just automatically follow those people until it's followed every single person. Um, and it will tell you, like it will tell you right here if you have any errors, um, if you have any errors or how many things have been executed and how many more you have pending, uh, ignore the middle part. But anyways, um, if you guys are interested in it, I definitely recommend, and you're, it, it only works with Apple products. So if you don't have an iPad or an iPhone, it won't work for you. Um, so I'm sorry, and you should get one. Hi, Steve. You go ahead. Thank you so much, Jocelyn, for letting us know how it works and giving us those tools. I have a question for you real quick. Do you have, um, you have the like 10 minute video of Steven explaining it or a different video? I have the video of Steven. Okay, cool. Just making sure that we did have the same video or if you had some more sauce to drop. Yeah, no, he explains it really well. Okay, perfect. 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 So, um, yes. I don't know. I was trying to get some more sauce on the chicken nuggets. Anyways, uh, that was perfect. Thank you so much, Jocelyn, for letting us know how it works. Um, 
headers on the bio. Yeah, everybody gonna drop they 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 Instagram and I'll send an example to uh, Celeste of headers. But what I like to do what's in mind is my results. The fact that I'm a health coach. I want when you come to my page, I don't want you to have to think like, is she a health coach? Does she do her black? Nah, you gonna know. Right then and there from when you get on there. So mine has a quote. I want people to understand that I'm here to motivate them. And then two, I'm a health coach. So I don't know what everybody else, they might have different things, but y'all can drop them in the chat as well. Um, people who feel like they have a nice bio, just drop theirs. I believe it was Tyler and Rachel. So for you to go look at that as well. Um, Mackenzie, you wanted to add something about Captivate? Cool. What's up, guys? Mackenzie here from the Virgin Islands. Ha, 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 ha. Um, so one of the other things that I was in Steven's group as well, well, one of his groups as well. And one of the things he was telling us, um, about Captivate and Terrence does it as well. And it helped me, um, beginning of last year, I was at like 3000, something like that, 4,000, something like that. Now I'm almost up at 9k. So what helped, what really helped is send a, send a short video of you, um, talking, um, like a quick, like a 30 second story, like a, it could be 15 seconds either of you, of who you are and what you do. And then one of the other things I learned about Steven, Steven said, um, he said, uh, don't let them know that, Hey, I'm an Arbor Life coach. And I just, just let them know that, Hey, I, if you ever would love to you know, earn extra income, um, just be transparent without being transparent. Right. So once you do that, it will help a lot. Um, something else, something else, something else. But uh, Captivate is the business. But send a video. Let people feel your energy. Let people see you. Those type in text messaging and, and type in sometimes may rub the wrong way. Some people might read it the wrong way. So do it um, as a video. And that should really, really, really help. And don't make it too long and drawn out and stuff like that um when you're searching uh i don't know if if would captivate you guys then you can also search with uh to to um like other people's pages and when you like them uh some of them will eventually follow you and then you you know what you got to do go in that dm and go to work go down in the okay i'm done okay annie i'm done Um, so we're about to close out um, in one second, but I had one. First of all, I just want to say it's 1024 and we still on here. So shout out to everybody who really stayed around the entire time for all these nuggets. Um, there was no way we were going to stop. Like I felt like we needed to get all of this out and I don't care how long the calls are for the next couple of weeks, we're going to do these trainings and we're going to perfect these trainings. And then we're going to duplicate these trainings so that when people come into this business, they have tools, tips, and trainings to plug into so that they know what's possible. Okay, go ahead. Um, yes. So thankful to everybody because one thing we did want to reiterate is that these are going to be like training trainings. When I get to press team, you guys, please don't bring up this video because I have lashes on one side, not on the other. So I kind of look like I got you. But um, wanted to just bring up that for one thing that we forgot to touch on is filtering your story post and your Instagram posts. It's some things that go on your Instagram story that do not need to make it to your page, right? When you click on your page, everything should be inviting, bright, quality, and you don't have to have like some expensive fancy background to have a good quality picture. It can literally be the lighting. Eddie has the cutest picture ever that I've seen because we were in Kroger, she took a picture and the vegetables are behind her. They were all green vegetables. It was super bright. She had on a bright shirt, snapped the picture. It was great lighting in Kroger. This is a free place where you can go take pictures, right? Snap the picture in Kroger and the picture looks amazing. So when you go to your page, you guys, you want to make sure that it's bright, it's inviting, and you're actually posting your most quality pictures on your story. Those, those store, Insta story videos that you take, those are not the best videos to post on your story because they're blurry. 
blurry pictures, pictures that have low quality, bad lighting. It's not the best to go ahead. Yes, the calls are recorded. It's not the best to post on your store, on your Instagram feed. That's stuff that you want to post on your story. You want your story to be your best quality picture. It's like if you're competing for something, let's just say you're competing in a, I don't know, whatever. You just want to make sure, like let's say we're doing a cupcake war, right? I want my best cupcakes on display. If you go to a, a clothing store, you have, they have the best outfits in the front. So you want to make sure at, this is your STS picture where you cleaned up, you look nice, the picture good, you done got the picture from the photographer, it's bomb on your Instagram post and on your actual page. Maybe all the interaction from the actual STS, the gauntlet, everybody coming in, the recognition is in your story. But you got those good pictures on your page. So you just want to make sure that it's filtered out because when you're attracting business, your page has to be visually attractive for me to want to follow you. So you just want to make sure that you're actually posting the quality to your page and leave everything else to go to your story. Um, also as well, Annie's going to touch on videos and voice notes for DM dives. But you guys, the biggest thing about social media is that it's not necessarily for everyone. We just wanted to do the training so that we're not letting off a step of things that we do for show, social media and things that are working. But as well as the biggest thing about social media is making sure that you have a nice, structured, quality, right, inviting page so that no matter what you do, I want to follow you. You get, I know photographers that got two pictures and I go follow them because them two pictures on their page is so beautiful. It could be them outside looking at a homeless person sitting over trash in Atlanta, but the lighting is amazing. Some might, might, might want to know your skincare because the lighting is amazing, but Annie's going to close us out. Mm, okay. Well, I'm just glad that um, Mackenzie and Rosanna or Mackenzie, Bria, Mc, you know, them, those amazing two people, um, bought up the videos because that is something that me and Seven use quite often. I don't even know, like, when the last time I was written. Honestly, I've been sick all week and I've been like, bro, I just want to send a voice message. I cannot do all this typing. Like, that's how much voice messages I send. It is so, first of all, the fact that that's an, like a feature on there. Like Mackenzie said, people are going to feel your energy. They get to, like, you don't have to sit there and try to type it out. There's no confusion, no miscommunication with the words. And then it gets them comfortable and it gets them trusting you. Especially for people who are not, like, they don't know who you are. If it's a complete stranger, they get to know that you're a real person. You really want to help them. You're very serious about what you do. And you're, you're, you're easy to talk to. You're not like this <clears throat> super professional person. Nah. Hey, girl, what's up? Like, yeah, we could definitely can do that. Blah, blah, blah. This is me, by the way, holding my phone in my hand doing voice message. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Or, hey, girl, uh, uh, whatever the case is. Um, and it's easier to explain things, too. Y'all know that I gave a whole business presentation through video. Done it plenty of times. Yeah, and then this is how you go all the way up to supervisor. Simple. Two videos, 30 seconds on Instagram. Like, it's that simple. So I just wanted to touch on that because we didn't really touch on it use all the features use all the tools on social media and then the last thing second to last thing that or second to last thing about social media before i um, give my last thing before we get off is social media is a tool that you can use we said this in the beginning of the call and i'm gonna say it again now this is not something that you have to do we have so many other platforms one two is it's something that takes time to build. Like Jocelyn was talking about, she been working on these followers all year. Mackenzie, same thing. They've been putting in the work to do it, blah, blah, blah. But then they've been using Captivate. Seven's been asking people for these call to actions and getting her followers up and creating the engagement and creating the interaction. It takes time. Do not sleep on the other platforms. Do not sleep on inviting to STS. Do not sleep on inviting to Fit Camp. Do not, please don't sleep on face to face. The reason why that goes back to the interaction thing. If you think videos work, face to face is really where it's at. When you create that vibe with somebody in person, it's like a whole different, a whole different vibe when you're able to talk to somebody in person. So I'm trying to think of somebody on here that I met face to face but i don't see nobody right now anyways moral of the story is don't 
don't let that di- mom oh, girl uh, anyway <laughs> don't sleep on technically she was a face-to-face because i had to tell her about it face-to-face right and she felt my energy it wasn't like mom check this out it's herb life it's like no yo get on herb life this is what it's done for me these are my results you're gonna do the business you're gonna earn some income this is like it's a technically that was a face-to-face so she, she wasn't even lying anyways do not deter from doing face-to-face when social media is down let me tell you what ain't face-to-face Period. When social media is like dry right now, let me tell you what's not. Going to Kroger, going to Walmart. I think it was uh, Tay who was like, yeah, we went out and we did uh, face-to-face at Walmart. They do face-to-face at, um, they do face-to-face at, uh, oh, when it was hot outside, Stone Mountain. They was up there every week, Imani, uh, Stone Mountain or uh, Kennesaw Mountain, every single week, faithfully, doing it consistently. Gabby just came into business, going out, doing a face-to-face like crazy. Let me tell you what, while she's building her social media, because she's working on it, ooh, I'm posting, yeah, I'm doing this, ah, but I'm also going to go out, yeah, that was my Gabby impersonation, um, I'm also going to go out, and I'm going to go get these people like this, and I'm going to go and make them feel my energy, because I tasted this shake, and it tastes good, and while I'm working on my results, while, <laughs> while I'm doing that, I'm doing this face-to-face, if y'all ain't hear nothing else, just remember I said, do your face-to-face, social media is something that takes time. Outside of the whole social media thing, right? Because we got this dope recording that I'm going to drop that we can go back and play. Um, tomorrow's the last day to sign up for the challenge. Step one. Hey. <laughs> Step two. Hey. Step three, get your clients. <laughs> and enroll them into the chat. Enroll them into what we're doing. But step one. Hey. Bye tomorrow. <laughs> last thing. Last thing, swear it's the last thing, y'all. The reason why this social media training is big because we're making an org that's duplicatable. The things that you post on your social media, six line downs from now when you at press team, you need your same your org to be able to be posting the 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 social media to duplicate. You need it to be able to duplicate down so everybody's not all over the place. You can go to anybody's page. Everybody's page looks nice. You can go, you can send this social media training. This is why the call is recorded to somebody that you sign up. So when they say, hey, how do I work social media? You're able to tell them and it is a system. You're, it, it's going to be a time at Herbalife where you have over 150 distributors. Claim it. Drop a one in the chat. If you're claiming it, I claim that. Can't drop a yes, one in the chat right sir. now. But it's going to be a time where you have over 150 distributors. You want to ensure that you have a system that is duplicatable. So even if you are building your social media, make sure that this is a system that you are beginning to follow the things that you're taking from it so that when you have lines and levels deep and wide, you're building a system that everyone can do. That's why me and Annie said, okay, social media training today, because to some people, social media is second nature. To some people, it's not. But trainings like this are needed. So if it is something that you want to work, it's available to you, and this is how you can do it. If you got 500 followers right now, reach out to Joss. Ask her how she do Captivate. She loves to talk. She'll definitely tell you how to do it. Make it duplicatable. Make it work so that you have levels deep, people down, so that you're able to be that person that you can say, I post like this. And you got three levels of supervisors deep in that third line post exactly like that. And it's relatable and they don't have herbal vomit everywhere. And it's actually attractive. That's the purpose of trainings, to make everything duplicatable. If you were in the future tab chat, 2500 and up, get to the spot. Steven said it's important for all of us to make sure that we're duplicating the same things. You should be able to ask three different leaders how you guys do something. And everybody should have a relatively close answer. So let's continue to build the org to where we're not referring to another org as a super org, da 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 That's us. We're, we're the org. We're the org that's duplicatable 150 levels deep. Okay. Okay? Okay. Period. Ayo, who fired up to go pay for the challenge first? <laughs> but also go work their social media. And if you didn't forget, the second step of paying for the challenge is Pay for the challenge. Pay for the challenge on three. Pay for the challenge on three. One, two, three. Pay for the challenge on three. One, two, three. Pay for the challenge on 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 three. P